What would you do if you found your true love, and then your sister stole him right away from you? That would suck. If you place it on her neck, it will be there forever. Is that a pirate? Whoa! Barbecue gang is after me, and I, I need the money. Not the barbecue gang? No! Now you may be thinking. What did I just watch? What was that, Cody? What, what did you just show me there? Was that three random clips from a child's first video camera, perhaps? No. Those are three clips that happened pretty much in succession in a trailer for a movie that is for sale on Amazon right now. And now you may be thinking, God damn it, Cody, how do you look so damn good all the time? And to that I would say, let's stay on top, okay? And now you may be thinking, wait, you said trailer? Trailer for a movie? What's the movie about? And to that I would say it doesn't matter. Because today's video is about this trailer and others just like it. So someone saw the video I did on Velocipaster and they said, Hey, here's another weird movie you, you might want to check out. It's called Diamond Cobra vs. The White Fox. And, um, and so I thought, okay, let me, let, me, let me peruse. Let me pop on there and peruse. And as any responsible movie watcher would do, I said, let me first watch the trailer. Just to see what we're getting ourselves into. And I opened this link. And I watched the trailer, and after watching it, I said to myself, that was the worst preview for anything. Movie or not, it was the worst preview for anything I've ever seen in my entire life. And then I clicked out. And then I looked down at the, at the shelf of recommendations that Amazon suggests to me. Hey, check these out. You like this? Why don't you check these guys out? You might like these too. Viewers who watch this, also watch these guys. So that could be you. And that's what I did. I looked down at the shelf there, the little shelf. And after looking at it, I realized, oh my god, there's a whole world of these movies out there. Movies so bad, there's no need to watch the whole thing. All you gotta do is watch the trailer. But listen, the fact that we're even doing this today, it's gotta stay between you and me, okay? I don't want anyone else knowing what kind of weird shit we're watching today, judging us, especially my internet service provider. <laughs> and that's why I'm using ExpressVPN, the sponsor of today's video. <laughs> Sorry. ExpressVPN, what the crap and gosh is that? Well, let me tell you. Every time you're connected to a wireless network in public, on your phone, on your tablet, maybe you got a little iPad and a Starbucks, you're sending little data packets. And guess what? Those aren't secure. Let's say there's a hacker in the Starbucks. They can sniff, they can sniff out all the, all the websites you're going to. Do you want a hacker to know the websites you're going to? Probably not. Do you want your internet service provider to know the websites you're going to? Probably not, because they can sell that data to other people. Who knows who they're selling it to? Some dude on the street just buying data? Probably, I don't know. ExpressVPN puts a stop to all that by encrypting your connection and rerouting it through their secured servers. You just fire it up, you hit a button, and that's it. Just like that, your connection is encrypted. ISPs can't see it, hackers can't see it. Not even ExpressVPN can see the data you're sending. Also, you can set your location to somewhere else in the world, so you can watch Stuff on Netflix that's only available there. For example, Archer, I've been watching that on Canadian Netflix. That's not available here. So if you want to try it out, just go to expressvpn.com slash CodyCo or just hit the link in the description. And back to the trailers. Okay, why don't we start by re-watching the trailer that I played at the start of the video. Just to see what's up. Just to see if we can wrap our heads around it a little bit better. Diamond Cobra versus the White Fox. I'm not going to read the blurb. I'm not going to do it because we're just going to dive right into the trailer and see what we can gather. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the art for it, holy fuck. What would you do if you found your true love and then your sister stole him right away from you? Okay, right. <laughs> right away I'm I'm floored, I'm perplexed, you could you could say, by the fact that the narrator audio is only coming from the right speaker. <laughs> That is so awesome and such a colossal fuck up. Like right off the jump, the very first thing that happens in this trailer is a massive mistake. <laughs> if you place it on her neck, it will be there forever. There will be no going back, no change. So are you sure this is what you really want to do? I don't know, why is she a pirate? <laughs> What the fuck? So she meets an evil pirate that gives her a necklace that she can give to her sister. But we don't know what, what it does. It just, it's just like a necklace. 
And the whole time, where are they even? What is this, Mars? What? The fact that they used a green screen for this, and then this one right here, look at this. When they hug, what? what is this? You could have at least used an image that was a little bit higher res for the background. <laughs> It's like they searched palace on Google Images and went to the 5,000th page. Hey, check me out, I'm at the, I'm at the gym. <laughs> oh man, now I'm at an amusement park. Well, it's so crazy. Okay, let's keep going. There are two necklaces and they're supposed to be magical. They're from a royal Egyptian family. The necklace has power. Word on the street, you're looking for me, barbecue. If you do this right, Gerard, there's big money in it for you. There was a necklace, I never got a good look at it though. Look. Barbecue gang is after me. What is this guy doing here? <laughs> What's this guy? This guy doesn't really fit in, does he? What are you doing here, bro? Go. <laughs> when do you go back to your Vineyard Vines catalog, huh? So you gonna get it or what? I don't know no diamond. Free dude. Is I just. <laughs> how can how can anyone make something this bad? <laughs> Again, the audio there only came from the right. How do you not fix that? Okay, so in the last video I made about the old guy's TikToks, um, I was making fun of him for, for not making sense. You know, for his videos, I was like, this one doesn't make sense. And everyone in the comments were like, dude, dude yeah, it does, does man. man. Yeah, yeah it, it makes sense. sense. Totally, totally makes sense, sense to me. me. I'm, I'm a genius. genius. I, go I go to law school. school. And I was like, just shut up, okay? <laughs> you know, I was reading the comments. I was like, just fucking shut up. Just agree with me, please. Just, please. This is hard, all right? I write a video, I put it up, and I'll, no, you're totally wrong. Just agree, just appease me. Anyways, this, we have to agree. We have to be in agreeance, agreeal, that this does not make sense, right? I can't figure out what is going on for the life of me. There's a snake necklace, there's a barbecue gang, there's a white guy in the gang that looks like he came from a, a barbecue on a yacht or something, and then now there's this, these three weird guys, it doesn't make sense, right? Okay, you might be thinking, no, I get it, I get it. I'm a, I'm a smart, I'm a smart guy. Oh, I'm a smart man. Well, then check this part out. <laughs> and you don't have a charger? A couple of women are missing in Arizona. What's going on? Are you, are you working on that case? That was untouched by me. I did not edit that at all. That is how it is edited. <laughs> let's let's just watch it again. Let's run it back. <laughs> and you don't have a charger? Okay, a couple of women are missing in Arizona. What's going on? Are you, are you working on that case? Everything about that is perfect. Everything. The audio cutting off way too soon. The fact that the, the guy on the computer screen, you can clearly see that they couldn't fit the frame to the screen. So there's like this big black like letterbox around it. The fact that she, one of the, the question that the girl asks is just like, what, you don't have a charger? You don't have a charger? Like we're supposed to know how that fits in? <laughs> it's fucking, the weird music and the, the do, 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 it's amazing, it's perfect. That's what I'm saying, we don't have to watch a movie, we can just watch this, it's awesome. This is like nine bad middle school film projects all combined into one. And it might be that. It might be a film project, in which case you're probably thinking, well, it's kind of messed up that you're making fun of it, right? Don't, like, what, is this is like a kid in sixth grade that made this and it's his project and now you're like tearing into it? Yeah, okay, that's fair. But the, they're fucking charging $15 for it on Amazon. 15 cold hard dollars. You, you heard me right. You know what you can buy for 15 bucks? Do you? Because I looked it up. I looked up cool stuff you can buy on Amazon for 15 bucks. And this is what I found, all right? A Yo Million Bluetooth sleep mask. A soft mask with built-in headphones to help you sleep. $13. <clears throat> Could you imagine that just drift, drifting off into the beautiful land of sleep while Hinder is blasting in your ears? It sounds like heaven. Look at this, Max Top Fanny Back with headphone jack, $8. A fanny pack that accommodates your tech with its wire, with its built-in headphone jack. That's awesome, it, and it rhymes, and it fucking rhymes too. Max top fanny back with headphone jack. How about this one? Fred Manatee silicone tea infuser. Manatee, there probably isn't a single fucking pun in this movie. And we got one right here in the title for $10. But um, I do support independent cinema, so I'm going to buy this movie. There we go. 
purchasing. You know what, while I'm at it, I'm gonna buy Fred Manatee as well. Oh, this, they, wow, they upped the price. <laughs> it's now $15. It was 10 in the article, but clearly in high demand, which means that this is a fantastic investment. Buy now. I really gotta stop buying stuff in the middle of videos. That's how I ended up with this. Friction, it's a book called Frictionless that I own now. <laughs> thanks to a video I did on my second channel. Oh my God, look at this, this cannot be better. The frictionless you. I know all about that, baby. Most of the entrepreneurs you've read about in this book are using the idea of frictionlessness to make their organizations more competitive. <laughs> they, ah, ah, they made it even better. Friction, frictionlessness, that's for sure not a word. Anyways, I gotta fill these shelves up with something, you know? Okay. Let's pick another one off the old recommend, recommendation shelf. I mean, we got a we got a bunch here. Twisted Pear, A Talking Cat, Roller Gator, Karis Hell? Karis Hell, yeah, that's the one. And I'm taking you to the park. Look, I'm not missing out on this party, okay? How do I express how much I hate my brother in only 140 characters? Ride the stupid thing already? Wait, 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 that, did that kid just wipe his fucking booger on the horse? No wonder it's gonna attack you. Not only is that disgusting, but it's also a serious COVID risk. Chicken feet, this is Blue Snow Cone, come in. Okay, we're going to the party. The kid's rocking the fedora. A tip of the hat to you, my sir. And the cat shirt. <laughs> it's just, this is, a, this is just Reddit. <laughs> Party? <laughs> what the fuck? I love how they're all just laughing at this random plastic horse that's sitting in their living room instead of being like, hey, who brought this plastic horse? Who brought this here? Huh? Steven, was that you? You're always bringing weird shit to the party. Did you bring this random plastic horse that's just sitting in the middle of our pregame? Instead, they're like, ah, you look at this little, hey, yo, get a load of this fucking little horse. Get a load of this horse over here. Oh my God. <laughs> so stupid. You're not even a horse. You're a little pony. You're a cute little pony, aren't you? No wonder he hacked you guys up. Fuck you guys, man. He can come drink if he wants to. I mean, I can't even begin to... It's like, is it, 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 did they, are they aware? Are they not? Is it a joke? Is it not? I don't know. That's the beauty of these trailers. You never know. Who knows? You can say it's bad, but maybe it's really good. But maybe it's really bad. Maybe it's bad because it's good. Maybe it's really good because it's bad. You don't know. You just gotta take it for what you get. That's a quote right there. That's a yearbook quote. I dare you to use that. Karis Hell, more like Karis. Well, better luck next time, guys. Okay, let's check out one more. How about, let's check out Butt Boy. <laughs> Butt Boy. Detective Fox loves work and alcohol. After he goes to AA, his sponsor, Chip, becomes the main suspect of his investigation for a missing kid. Fox believes people are disappearing up Chip's butt. Come on. Come on. What? What? But. So what do you do? Detective. You look like every detective ever. Oh, he is. Does he though? I don't really, I mean, to me, this is a detective to me. Right here, this is, this is a detective. He more, he looks like a dude from Sons of Anarchy or something like that. So you're asking me to go off this theory you got about a white married male who happens to be a father living in the suburbs of Critica County, who also happens to be your AA sponsor, has been secretly running around, grabbing objects, animals, and children up his ass. And he somehow digests them, and he does this in sprays, almost in serial killer fashion. This, this dude puts kids up his butt? Is that about it? Uh-huh. Dude, this guy's, my, this guy's my inspo right now. Look at this. I just need a fucking fat goatee like that. I just need a big fat goatee like this, dude. And honestly, we're kind of, kind of, right? Similar vibes.
Oh man, having that intense indie film montage with the 80s music behind it and then just cutting to a title screen like Butt Boy just tickles me right in the funny bone. And maybe this movie is good, I don't know, it doesn't look horrible. But that's not what this video is about. It's about the trailer, and I give this trailer a 10 out of 10. And I give the last two also 10s out of 10s. All right, guys. Well, I wish we could do this forever. There's literally so many of these movies. Look at this. Look at this one. This, one, this one's just called Plum. <laughs> the name of the movie is in quotations here. Plum. <laughs> hey, yo, do you maybe want to watch Plum tonight? What is that? What's it called? It's called Plum. Stop, w stop doing this. Why? Plum. Stop, because I don't know. Are you being sarcastic? What's the title of the movie? It's called Plum. Dude, stop! Plum! Yeah, that's how I see that going. Anyways, later.